Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to pick up the Perella Star item after you've graduated your season character. So this is a new item that was added to the game. It is your season graduation reward that a lot of people have been looking forward to, and it provides you with some nice stats. So real quick, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching the videos on the channel and you still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps grow my channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get into it, and let's talk about the Perella Star. In order to get the quest that we're going to see right here from the Black Spirit, you will have needed to graduate your season character. If you don't know how to graduate your season character, I have a video on it. It went live on Monday of this week, so two days ago's video. Now, on your season character that you just graduated, so your season character that you just graduated with for the autumn season, click on the quest tab in the bottom corner after talking to the Black Spirit, and look for the quest, Perilla Star Fugar's Woes. Accept this quest, and this is the quest that will allow you to obtain the Perilla Star. To start with this, you're going to need to talk to Fugar, so you can talk to any of the Fugars in the world of Black Desert. So just go ahead and talk to this one, and literally just flow through the quest line. So if anything difficult comes up in this quest line, I'll be sure to stop and show you what you have to do, but otherwise literally just follow along and auto path to each of the quests along this journey. One of the quests along the way is going to ask you to milk a cow. If you've never milked a cow before, the closest farm to the location that you're going to pick up that quest in Calpion is this Fairy's Dirt Farm, which is over to the right. Milking a cow is super simple, all you need is some energy. Walk up to the cow and you just alternate left and right clicks on your mouse to fill up the jug with milk. Be sure not to uh, over pull. Now one more thing about these quests that I want to point out early on in this video is that you need to accept the next portion of the quest. It will not auto accept the next portion of a quest like some other quests in the game. So you need to manually make sure you're accepting the next portion of the quest. Some people have more quests than others. Basically, every time you turn in a quest, make sure you accept the next portion of the quest from that NPC. That's all I want to make sure you do. So if you don't have the next portion of the quest up here, it means you need to talk to that NPC still. And if you don't know how to exchange an energy potion, we're already in Velia. The location of Alliston and Velia is right over here on the edge. Go ahead and talk to him, click on the exchange option, and just trade some energy for an energy potion small to complete that quest. Now, another point in this quest, you're going to need to gain 200 Amity with this NPC, Croy, right here. So the NPC, Croy, who is the wharf manager of Velia right here out on the docks. You have two options to do this. You can either sit here and wave to him by pressing F5 on your keyboard, which will give you one Amity with it every time for every energy you spend. So I was at 81, now I'm at 84, and that cost me three energy. So you can sit here and burn through 200 energy to do that, or you can play the conversation mini game. I have a full on guide on the conversation mini game if you want to go ahead and watch that. But TLDR is read what it tells you right where my head is and try and do that. The short, short, short version of it is the percentage that you see in the middle of the screen that says sparking interest percent is your percent chance to succeed. And the favor below it, that seven to 13, is the total amount of points that you're gonna get when you succeed that. So I need to accumulate a minimum favor of 47, according to this uh, one right here, if I move my head out of the way. So I wanna pick ones that give me really high percent chances at success that are gonna give me decent favor. So like this one's a 100 percenter, but it gives me zero favor, so not really too beneficial to use that. Anyway, sit here and plug away random ones until you maybe or maybe don't complete it. And after you successfully obtained the 200 Amity, if you click on the chat option to this person right here, you'll be able to ask about Perilla's whereabouts to complete this section of the quest line. Make sure to accept the next portion of the quest, click on the wharf, and register the new boat that you just picked up from this quest. So you can click that, name it whatever you want, it just has to start with a beginning capital letter, hit confirm, and enter that sucker into the boat. Click the takeout button to get your boat ready to go. You're going to need to head to Merviano Island, so if you've never done any bartering or anything, it is the island right out here, this island, so directly across from the port. This boat has the ability to sprint if you hold down the shift key, so you can go a little bit faster in this boat and get there pretty quickly. Now, ultimately, you're going to end up back at Fugar, and all you got to do is talk to him and click the confirm option right now, and then hit quest. And you are going to have two options here. You can either tell him the truth or not tell him the truth. Doesn't matter. It gives you the same answer regardless, and your boy's a straight shooter, so I'm going to tell him the truth. You then need to click the chat option, click tell the story of Perilla, which will complete the tell the story of the truth option. You will hand him over Perilla Star under the chat option once again. That will complete the quest. From here, you need to click on the quest tab. Once again, Perilla Star, who became of the blah ba doo ba ba complete the quest. Now, after you've completed that quest line, back out of Fugar and jump back in, and you will see the option now down here that says Season Special Gift. In the Season Special Gift tab, you will see a Summer and Autumn Season tab. So this is the point where if you didn't complete the Summer Season last season, you can either choose the Pen Capocha Earring or Ring, which in which case, of all of these options, I would recommend the Pen Capocha Ring, unless you already have two of them. And if you already did complete the summer season, you will now have the autumn season option to exchange for the Perilla Star. So all you have to do is click the little exchange button right there, and that is it. So summer season, autumn season, exchange items the same way. Just click the button, exchange, and get the item. 
And this will complete the Perilla Star quest. So the Perilla Star, once again, provides your character a 1 DP bonus, which could put you over a gear cap, which is pretty nice. Reduces the monster damage you take by 5% when it's activated. Gives you some HP recovery, increases your max HP stamina. You can see the stats you can read. I'm not going to mess around with you on that one. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for the quest line. So if this video is going to help you to progress here in Black Desert, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, once again, if you are not subscribed already to the channel, please consider it. It'll help to grow my channel, and you'll stay up to date when new content like this does come out. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, the next YouTube video, or wherever I happen to see you. Bye.